Hello, and welcome to the Mushroom Council's Layers of Flavors Culinary Training, presented by Mushrooms in Schools. My name is Chef Robert, and over the course of this video series, we'll be exploring the many varieties and applications of mushrooms in school meals. Chefs have been incorporating mushrooms into their menus and recipes for years, and I found great success layering the flavors of mushrooms into many different menu ideas, both during my time as executive chef in a school district and as I've created new recipes with mushrooms in schools. Now it's time for us to share with the school nutrition professionals the benefits of cooking with a variety of mushrooms in a variety of ways. But before we get started, here's a fun fact. Did you know there are over 10,000 variety of mushrooms? While we certainly won't have time to talk about each one, Throughout the next few videos, we will cover the most common varieties used in schools, including how to source, store, and prepare both fresh and frozen mushrooms, how to maximize quality and minimize food waste, and how to incorporate mushrooms throughout your menu in ways that will enhance flavor, nutrition, and plate coverage, all while offering both new and classic menu items students will love. Let's start by talking about why mushrooms are such a perfect match for school meals. You may be used to seeing mushrooms at the grocery store and in restaurants, but do you also think school meals when you see mushrooms? Mushrooms are a natural addition to school meals. Here's why. First, flavor. Mushrooms provide umami, a flavor that makes dishes taste savory and rich due to the presence of specific amino acids and nucleotides. Recipes that incorporate mushrooms will taste hearty and meaty with deep flavors. This creates a more satisfying eating experience for our students. Always a good thing. Because of the unique flavor and texture properties of mushrooms, they are extremely versatile. From enjoying fresh to marinating, sauteing, roasting, or blending with meat. Mushrooms can appear in many ways on your menu throughout the month. Their meaty texture makes them a great vegetarian and vegan ingredient that will satisfy customers who are looking for flavorful, hearty meals. Mushrooms can let you show off your culinary skills too by topping salads, pizzas, burgers with freshly prepared mushrooms you'll increase students' perception of your program's quality and focus on whole ingredients. I got a chuckle when a student exclaimed, wow, look at those real mushrooms on the pizza. I'm not sure what fake mushrooms are, but I'm glad that student felt good about what we were serving. Mushrooms also offer nutritional benefits for our menus. Because mushrooms naturally enhance the flavor and texture of so many dishes, it means we can use less fat and salt to achieve great tasting meals. But apart from that, mushrooms also pack important vitamins and minerals that are not always found in other vegetables, like selenium, a powerful antioxidant, vitamin D, important for bone health. Mushrooms are also good for the environment because they require less water, energy, land and raw materials for their production. And when you replace some of the meat in your dishes with mushrooms, you can even further reduce the environmental impact of what you eat. It's likely that the mushrooms you're purchasing came from a farm not far from you. Mushrooms are grown in almost every state. Though Pennsylvania does make up 60% of all mushrooms produced in the U.S., they're also grown year round, making them a great cycle menu item and especially beneficial for promoting farm to school efforts throughout the year, even when other local produce is scarce. You can purchase mushrooms from any distributor in both whole and processed form, in convenient pack sizes too, so it's easy to get these products into your kitchen. Mushrooms can also save you money. They can decrease the amount of meat you need to use in dishes where other protein sources are being used and can also help you increase plate coverage and portion sizes of your entrees without having to increase your protein costs. Let's now quickly go over the most common mushroom varieties we'll be revisiting 
throughout the course. White mushrooms are a popular variety seen in schools, known for their mild flavor. They're great served fresh in salads or with dip, but can also be cooked. There are several sizes for these mushrooms, which we will discuss in detail later. The brown mushrooms, also called cremini or baby bella, is actually a younger version of the portobello and is a darker, firmer, and some say more flavorful version of the white mushroom. Though the white and brown mushrooms are nutritionally and virtually identical. It can be used interchangeably with the white mushroom in cooked dishes and is a great addition to beef and vegetable dishes. Portobello's, an older relative of the cremini, has a deep meat-like texture and flavor, making them a flavorful vegetarian alternative. They're best enjoyed grilled, broiled, or roasted. Shiitake mushrooms have a broad, umbrella-like cap. They have a meaty texture and taste rich and woodsy when cooked. They're great in stir fries, pasta, soups, entrees, and sides. And save the stems. They add delicious flavor to stocks and soup. Some exotic varieties you may not see in schools, but may encounter in the supermarket or restaurants include oyster, miyataki, anoki, and beach. Each offers unique nutritional benefits as well as flavors and textures. That does it for our introduction to mushrooms in school meals. Join me next as we discuss storing and preparing mushrooms. Thanks for watching.